Welcome back to another episode of Balling With Guys. Today we are still going over the division winners for 2023. Uh, we were looking at the AFC North. Uh, it's pretty hectic this past week, or I would say this offseason. Uh, these teams are all going through their own battle challenges right now, uh, or previous challenges as well, I should say. Uh, let's hop right on into the FanDuel odds as well and just take a quick look at these odds currently. Uh, they're pretty sweet. Um, just looking at this division and uh, the uh, ramifications of this season coming up and what's in store for all these teams. Uh, so let's, with that being said, let's hop right on into the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, with everything going on, Cincinnati Bengals, um, Joe Burrow has been in and out, uh, well, not in and out, but just received uh, or sustained a calf injury, um, non-contact as well. So that's pretty scary. Um, where they say he should be okay, Coming into week one or, you know, a couple weeks off into the season. So, you know, playing by ear, it was just when I got that notification on my phone that he was carted off, that was, uh you know, a psychology thing. I was like, dang, he might be done for the season. No one wants to see that. And uh, we all love to see Joe Burrow light up this season. He's a great quarterback. He's top three, uh, top five, definitely. Um, And they have the number one receiving core in the league, uh, Jabbar Chase. Uh, T. Higgins, Boyd, um, and Burrow just puts it on the money. They're they're a solid team, as you can see. They already lost four games last season. And I think the first couple games it was kind of shaky. Um, they 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 look to win games. Their whiteout uniform is crazy, but with Joe Burrow, that's the question right now. That is the question on uh, and they didn't. I don't think they really changed the odds up that much with the injury. Um, because I was really looking at the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I do think they can win the division. Um, they don't have a holdout. Lamar Jackson right now. Lamar Jackson is paid. He wants to win. They got OBJ, um, Odell Beckham Jr. For those that don't know, uh, Zay Flowers been scorching the um, training camp. You know, everyone loves to talk about training camp and what uh, dudes and uh, what excites them. And you know, a lot of talking before before the season starts. But once that season starts and everyone's on the field. It's a different story. Um, but I do think they have a hurdle to come through. Um, they were in the contention. They always get left out. Lamar Jackson is also ranked 72 on the top 100 players, which is absurd. Um, they continue to dismantle my man's uh, legacy. He's not going for that this season. He's going to show you why he's a former MVP, why he should have got co- – uh, a fucking interest from every team that just, you know, didn't even want to. They were trying to hold out on the quarterback market, man. And this is what they're going to do. They're going to make this man mad. That he luck- he got paid, so he happy. He got paid what he wanted. But NFL keep doing this stuff with trying to hold out players, and it's not going to go well. It's still going to be here. Players are going to want to be NBA ballers, man, I'm trying to tell you. But... <clears throat> And they got to pay the players, you know, play the running backs too, pay the quarterbacks what they deserve, and stop trying to blackball people in this league as well. That was a side note. But uh, Lamar Jackson definitely going to come. And I'm, I'm definitely a Ravens fan. They're my ASC team. Um, I could just see them coming off. They have a uh, – and I think, think Lamar Jackson will be um, throwing the ball a little bit more uh, and will put that on display and still have a chance to win another MVP. And if he does that, I wonder what the haters are going to say, what the critics are going to say, what the analysts are going to say. Um, and they, they will have a shot at the Super Bowl this season. Uh, with the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns, these are tough to uh, call. Um, year two for uh, um, the, the quarterback, Pickett. I do love their, their uh, year two receiver, Pickens. He was definitely a nice addition. Um, Tomlin is just a great coach. He never had a losing season. Even the season he just had is not a losing season out of all what his career with the Steelers. Um, that is pretty phenomenal. Um, with that being said, they do have a, a, a great defense. I uh, want to see how they, their trio of receivers is pretty great as well. Um, they, they did acquire Allen Robinson. Uh, they do have Deontay Johnson's and stuff, and I just talked, but just brought up Pickens. Um, those three receivers are talented. It's just a quarterback, and they have a, a great r- running back as well. He's probably a top five running back in the league currently. Uh, so they have a, a, fe- a bright future look a- ahead of them, but I don't think uh, – 
they'll win the division. They'll probably be in parts of it. It could be in the swing of the third and fourth second, maybe. Uh, but if they get off to a hot start, no, ain't no telling. But I don't think they're going to win the division as it's going to be too tight. And the Ravens is always on the Steelers' tail as well. Cleveland Browns now is uh, a dark horse. They <clears throat> uh, they let go of Kareem Hunt. Uh, that was a, a good two-back combo with Nick Chubb. Um, we're going to see what Deshaun Watson can do this season. Uh, he only played six games last year after the suspension. Uh, and a uh, probably just get back into the football groove of things. Uh, he went three and three in those six games. Uh, so we're just going to see how he does, you know, pan out with that. Um, and take a look at these odds again. Cincinnati Bengals, Ravens at 220 is pretty good. I don't think Cleveland Browns, unless Deshaun Watson has a breakout, breakout season. I mean, he's already, you know, we know he's that talented of a quarterback. Is he going to be playing to that expectation? And if, like he was with the Texans, he has some. Some solid receivers, Amari Cooper, People Jones. Uh, they can make plays. They have a nice tight end as well. So it's just if the defense can hold out and if they can finish out those closed games, they have a chance. This whole division, just like last year, the, uh, um, the NFC East almost made it. Um, so just depending on the Steelers and what Joe Burrow does. But even if I don't know who the the Bengals backup quarterback is currently, uh, but they have that trio and and they're not going to be you no. Know, playing lightly with uh when they know they have what is just at risk when Joe Burrow is not playing. But then all that being said, guys, I'm gonna choose the Baltimore Ravens to win the ASC North and add that to the ticket. Um I just think Ravens are uh that has something to play for with this injury with Joe Burrow just changed everything and they didn't change the odds. So uh I'm gonna I'm gonna trail this two twenty right here. Uh guys Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. We're coming back out with more videos this week on the other division winners. Make sure you stay tuned. We got a lot more in store this summer. We're going to be posting highlights, podcasts, challenges, videos, and more for the upcoming season. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and catch you on the next one.